hi welcome back to my channel this is christina and girl boss building her empire how y'all doing today so in this video what we're doing is we're going ahead and i'm going to give you my top 2023 perfumes right the ones that kind of and i'm gonna break them up into categories right so the ones that i least likely expected because i'm blind boy and I'm getting the ones that I was kind of familiar with, right? So I'm going to start with the ones that I, that kind of got me by surprise. But before I get started, can you please go ahead and give me a solid as to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below, what are your blind buys for 2023? And also go ahead on and follow your girl on um, TikTok was Girl Boss Building. I'm doing good things there and thank y'all so much. So I hope y'all having an amazing day today. So we're going to go ahead on and get started. Right? Because this is not going to be a long video, not by any means, but this is going to be a good video. So everybody got their top picks and different things. So we're going to go ahead on and, we're gonna go ahead on and get it. So first up, we're going to go with... Burberry Goddess, right? Burberry Goddess is all vanilla, vanilla lavender, vanilla ginger, vanilla caveat, vanilla um, absolute. This is all good right here. So this would be one of my 2023. I wouldn't say my top, but it's close. So I'm not ranking this video. This is not a ranking video. I'm just giving you my top 2023 perfumes, right? Some that has bigger dents than others and some not as much. So we're going to do Hypnotic Vanilla also. This right here took me by surprise and this is one of my favorite loves. This right here is Apricot Blossom. This is Jasmine. This is Bourbon Vanilla and this is Moss. This took me by surprise and I'm mad, mad love it, right? So if I have to say this is one of my top, this is one of my top tens right here. This is hypnotic vanilla next we have yara i'm not gonna spend too much time on yara this right here is another top uh 2023 perfume that i absolutely led enjoy for the springtime but i find myself pulling for her more in the spring right but this is heliotrope this is vanilla this is sandalwood and if you ask me those are two of my favorite notes when it comes to perfumes sandalwood and vanilla right so this is yara so this is another good one i didn't spend a lot of money on on it it was an amazon find so y'all can find this on amazon next we have ysl lead this will be a top 10 this is my top 10. This is Jasmine Sandbag. This is Bourbon Vanilla. This is Tonka Bean, y'all. This is good. I mad, mad love this one, and this will always be in my rotation. So this is one that, this is my second bottle, and this is one that I absolutely love to have. I love to, um, when I'm going to important meetings or different things like that, you know, this would be a signature scent for me. I say this would be a signature scent. Yeah, this would be a signature scent for me. And I'm mad, mad enjoy. So YSL Lead is one of my signature scents. So next we have Burberry Her. I'm not going to pull her off the box. Y'all already know what she looked like. So this is Strawberry, Blackberry Accord. Jasmine Accord, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Amber. She is good, right? She's really, really good. This is one that kind of took me by surprise. I had to turn around and make sure I calculate all my coins in order to get her, right? So, but I mad enjoy her, and she is what she is, and that is her. So, next we have Vanilla 28. She needs no introduction. If I have to say she would be one of my top picks, I'm so happy I got her um, into my collection. And she is one that once this bottle is finished, I will absolutely think about, no, not think about, I will absolutely get another bottle of Vanilla 28. So Vanilla Portions, 
you know, introduction. This is a girl that was girling all over TikTok. Had us going to the Marshalls and the TJ Maxx. It's up, all up in there trying to find this one. So this one right here would have to, I would have to say this one would be the one that gave us the right for 2023. Well, at least in my opinion, right? Because we was looking, we was hunting high low for this one right here because when they say she was $16.99, baby, we was all up in TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I so happened to find it just in Marshalls where I'm at in Southwest Louisiana. So this is Vanilla Portions. Anybody that know we was looking for, this is the one that was on the hunt. So Vanilla Portions would be one of my top picks for 2023. It's another top pick, right? This is our Rehab and this is Choco Must. This is Milk Chocolate in the bottle. That's it. Milk chocolate, vanilla, you got some cinnamon, you have some uh, rose, sandalwood, but all I smell is milk chocolate in the bottle. So this is Choco Must. This is also one you can get on Amazon. So this is our rehab Choco Must. Next, we have one of my good, my beloved, when I love, when I, I always keep in my collection, right? This is Dosa Gabbana. This is the one. And this is Amber Jasmine. This is Peach and Vanilla. This is good. If I have to say, this will be a signature scent for me. Yep. Signature scent. So Dosa and Gabbana, the one will be a signature scent. Next, we have um, my YSL lead. This also would be one of my signature scents, right? I'll put the notes at the top, but this is taco bean. This is vanilla, y'all. This is good. And if I have to say so myself, like I said, if I had to put, this would be a signature scent. And this is one I absolutely love for 2023. So I get mad compliments when I wear it. They asked me, what are you wearing? They were like, girl, you entered the room. I can tell that you left out the room because you still left, left us in. And that's what she does. And I'm here for it each and every time. So if I had to pick out of one, this would be a signature scent as well, right? So I'm mad, mad enjoy it. And I love that I have this in my collection. So next, what we have is... um. Do this. I would say Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth. Y'all, this y'all know this vanilla, this sugar, this is must. This is this is some good stuff right here. So I have the notes right here, but I know this was a good 2020 23 find. I know that that in a caramel dream as well, right? That was just released. That is another 2023 find that I absolutely love. Um have it in my collection so i have to say i'm i'm will really pleased with those two right because it's caramel dream and it's the sweet too so i love those two next we have narcisco narcisco rodriguez right must nor i hope i'm saying that right y'all please forgive me but narcisco rodriguez right and this is fleur must for her. <laughs> Sorry if I mentioned the name, but this is another good find and I absolutely love it, y'all. This right here is Rose, right? I have the notes right here, but this right here is Rose. This is one that could be a signature scent for me, but I don't want to throw people off, right? Because it could be one of those mature, right? Um, and I absolutely love it, y'all. This right here blew me away. It really did. So this is one when I want to, in the springtime, feel real springy, I guess you can say. You have your sun dress and your hair pulled up and your earrings dangling and, you know what I'm saying, you got your sandals on. This right here is it for me. So I love the vibe that when I pull this out that I get when I turn around and wear this and I'm here for it. So this is a good scent and I'm mad. absolutely in love it. So Narcisco Rodriguez, right? And this is Fleur Mousse for her. 
I hope I didn't butcher it. So that is another one. So I do have, before I get to my heavy hitters, I do have a couple of other ones that I absolutely enjoy. And that is the Latafa Ajwad. I love that one, right? That one is your rose, your jasmine, your vanilla, your musk, your amber, your cedar. I have a picture right there. I absolutely love that one. And then I also have... Now, these two, the last two that I give you are in my product. Well, no, I'm going to do this one. My Irresistible by Givenchy. Yeah, yeah, I hope this is. Anybody that know Givenchy know what this is. Yeah, I love this. This right here would definitely be a signature scent for me. This is no lie. Signature scent. And I'm here for it. So, this is one that I absolutely love. And I been loving so i had to pull her in her box and put her in the bag because this was a 2023 find that i absolutely love and i'm here for it so this is Givenchy irresistible and would be a signature scent also um, Kayali Nella Ooh, from the Ooh Yasm Collection. This is good too, y'all. Um, this right here has vanilla sugar, praline, saffron, white musk, and oak moss and oud. This is good too. So I absolutely mad enjoyed this right here. So my last two that would be signature scents, but I had to like hang up the cleats on that, and that is Ariana Cloud, Ariana Grande Cloud. This is lavender. This is juicy pear, coconut, vanilla musk, and blonde woods, right? The dent, I had to make room. So this is the dent right here. So I had to make room for, you know, this right here. So that's what I did. She was in my project, Use It Up. She been on my tray for November and December. I want to make sure she got out of there so that way I can put in the rest. And another one is Billie Eilish Eilish, right? This right here is, this is creamy sound, creamy vanilla spice, um, soft spices, cocoa, warm musk, tonka bean, sugar petals, and warm bullies. This right here is another good one. Love it. Love it. But I had to make room for my new stuff that I have coming. So I had to let something go. It wasn't easy, but I was like, okay, so which one out of my collection have the biggest dent? And I'm going to target that. And that's just what I did. So if I have to say these two would definitely be signature scents. And I'm mad in them, which is the Ariana Grande Cloud and the Billie Eilish Eilish. Right? Those, those, I'm sorry. Those would be signature scents for me. Right? My Dulce Gabbana, the one that would be another signature scent. Kayali Vanilla 28 would be one. YSL Lee, that'll be another one. Hypnotic Vanilla by Zara, that would be one. Black Opium, YYSL, that would be another one. And my girl. Which never disappoint, which is the Givenchy Irresistible. That'd be another one. So, y'all, these were my top 23 fragrances for 2023. I mad, mad enjoyed all of them just by surprise of what I can mix and match. Some I didn't have to, but some I did, right, to get those lasting um, combos from them. And I absolutely love it. Some that didn't disappoint, some left me just flabbergasted at the way that I walk into the room and you get those mad compliments that you absolutely love. So I am here for it. I am here for it. So I really appreciate y'all for go ahead on and clicking on this video. But y'all comment down below how you think I did. Did you think that any of your perfumes made the list? If it did, please let a girl know because I want to know if we're on the same page, right? 
and also follow me on TikTok, y'all. I can't stress that enough. I'm growing over there. Numbers are growing, so I want to continue that same vibe. I have more videos to come. I have some that's out. Some I had to redo, but I had some, you know, I had to just play around with this. So I hope y'all enjoying this season. I am. I really am blessed, 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 blessed. Can't bless. So a form of looking good is a form of smelling good. Thank y'all and y'all be blessed.